Hi, this is Muhammad from Starseed FX. I would like to share with you a trading plan of what you need to do every time you receive an order block alert from us. In this week, you received many order block alerts, but for the purpose of sharing a trading plan example, I will share the AUD USD alert that you received a few days ago. So, what do you need to do next when you receive an OB alert from us? Here are the steps you need to take. First, Wait for an order block alert. In this example, this week you receive an AUD USD alert. Once you receive it, go to M5 or M15, whichever suits you. Personally, if the OB alert is from H1, I go to trade from M5 time frame. But if the OB comes from H4 or D1 time frame, I trade it from M15 time frame. So in our example, AUD USD comes from H1 time frame. I will trade it from M5 time frame. After going to M5 time frame, mark your potential chalk or change of character level. This is the last high of the minor structure. You won't see this level broken by the candle body to make a valid chalk over here. And also you can place an alert on this level if you want. Now, if for some reason, the market creates another pullback, you must move your chalk level. Because as you may know, the market can move like this. And when this happens, your chalk level becomes this high. Let's run the replay to see what happens here. The chalk level has been broken and it's with the body. So what's next? You won't see the liquidity sweep and imbalance. So this is our liquidity sweep over here. Let's mark it. And you see here, there is more than one imbalance. And when this happens, I prefer to choose the imbalance that close to the liquidity sweep candle because the price usually comes back to fill in that imbalance and it can give me a higher risk reward ratio. Please note that sometimes the price may touch the first imbalance and leave you behind or sometimes the price does not respect the whole pattern and hits your stop loss. After all, trading is a game of probability, but you need to have a clear strategy on what to do and always follow the rules of your trading plan. So this is the imbalance and this is my OB. Let's repeat quickly what you must do once you receive our OB alerts. You go to alert time frame, either M5 or M15. Done. Wait for a chalk to be complete. Done. You want to see a liquidity sweep. Done. You want to see an imbalance. Done. And your entry point is the candle after the imbalance. Here. Once you have completed the four steps, chalk, change of character, liquidity sweep, imbalance, and OB, you can start placing your pending order. I usually do this. If my lower time frame is M5, I place my pending order on the candle like this. If my lower time frame is M15, I place the pending order at 50% of the candle. But again, it's just a matter of personal choice. Now, let's talk about the take profit. Where to place our take profit? I like to place my take profit at the last high or last low of the major structure. In this case, our OB was coming from the H1 time frame and it is a buy order block. So I place my take profit at the last high of the major structure on H1 over here. So this is my take profit target. But of course you can choose or decide what is best or enough for you. Some traders may choose this last high. Some other traders may choose only 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. Again, it's up to you. I just share with you my setup from this AUD USD alert that happened this week. And I'd like to let you know that once you place your pending order, sometimes it takes hours to be triggered. And sometimes it can be triggered the next day, sometimes it doesn't, and the price leaves you behind. If the price does not trigger the pending order on the second day, you can remove or cancel it. Or if you believe the pattern is still valid, you can let it go. A few days ago, when I placed my pending order on this pair, it was triggered during the news. Let's play the replay button and see what happens.
As you can see, the price moved like crazy because of the news. My trade closed in less than an hour. If you were also in this trade, you must have had your trade closed very fast. All right, this is all for today. Please follow this trading plan. This plan will help you to minimize all the false signals when the price does not respect our order block alerts from higher time frame such as H1, H4, or D1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you have not joined our community, you can find the link in the description. Thank you everyone and have a good day.